Hey you guys, welcome to an episode of How To with none other than myself, Abasia Theatra. Today I want to show you guys how to properly cut and de-seed a pomegranate. So, like myself, I'm sure many of you probably grew up just chopping that thing down the middle or maybe chopping it into fourths, removing some of that white stuff and then just digging in, right? Well, technically that is perfectly fine but there is another way to quote unquote properly get this thing de-seeded so you can enjoy your pomegranate avril's which is the part that you eat basically so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that the first thing you want to do is get yourself a knife and along the top part of the pomegranate you want to go down until you see a dip where it starts and then you just literally want to cut around it like you see me doing right now and try to get back to that same cutting point and then just cut off the top of that pomegranate or the bottom whatever part it is but the point is make a circle across like that right boom so next you want to find a part of the pomegranate where you do not see the abrils on the top and then you're just going to cut a little gash from that part down a little far not all the way down to the bottom because you don't want the pomegranate to fall apart we actually want this thing to stay together and you'll see why shortly but every section that you see where there is no avril just go ahead and cut a slit down it you can go in a little deep but you don't have to go that far in at all so next grab yourself a bowl to have over the pomegranates and just pull apart each section that you have cut and it should expose the middle part of the pomegranate. As you can see here, go ahead and just pull that out. As you can see on the side, there's part of the pomegranate because I did cut too low. But anyway, yeah, you're gonna take that out and then you've got this luscious pomegranate. Flip it over on the skin side. Take your spoon and beat one of those sections. That's literally that all there is to it, honestly. Um, now with this method, it works a lot faster than you trying to pull them out one by one yourself or even, you know, try to get more than one. It also makes it less likely that your nail will actually cut into the avril's and spill out some of that pomegranate juice that we all love in our mouths. But anyway, as you're beating the pomegranate, of course you can also, again, remove that white skin that falls into the bowl or you can just wait to do that at the end. I know some people actually put water into the bowl full of the pomegranate avril's and those white things float up to the top and you can just scoop them out. Um, personally speaking, with this method, you actually don't get a lot of those, but you can do that method or take them out as you're going along. I personally didn't even trip off of it. I just left them there because it was such a small amount. But as you can see, here is the beautiful pomegranate and I'm just putting them in a little container here because I'm actually going to make the, a juice with them. But it's literally just that simple. It doesn't take that long at all. This maybe took all of five minutes. But that's it you guys. I hope this video was very helpful to you and that it was pretty clear cut and dry on how to cut and de-seed your pomegranate. Anyway, I hope you all have a blessed day. Here are your lovely pomegranates. Peace.